Welcome back to Rachel's Whimsical Arts. And I am Miss Rachel. Today we're gonna to do something kind of fun. It involves shaving cream, watercolors, or you can also use food coloring. So if you don't have liquid watercolors or watercolors in a tube to mix with water to make it liquid watercolors, you can use uh, the liquid food coloring from your kitchen all pretty easy to get to and use. So this is gonna be some marbling of paper and it's pretty fun. It's pretty cheap and easy to do for some afternoon entertainment with your kids and family. Um, except you gotta shake this like crazy. Woo. We're gonna take some paper and I'm just using mixed media paper and use that to make the marbling. So it's just white thick paper or art journal paper. This makes a funny sound. And after I get this covered with foam, then we're gonna add droplets of paint onto the foam. It will get messy. I'm using a shaving cream that has like, it's for sensitive skin. You could use a shaving cream that has aloe in it for skin. It does make your skin really soft afterwards. But you do wanna get a tray. It can be a plastic tote like this, storage container that's flat on the bottom, or you can use a food tray, a aluminum foil cooking tray would work too. And Anything with a lip on it, like a couple inches, I'd say like three or four inches deep. Okay, I think we have enough. Keep shaking it, it's just taking a long time. All right. <laughs> the idea is to cover the entire bottom so there isn't anything left to see on the bottom. Like you don't want any air gaps. You want it to be completely covered. Now the kids will have fun with the shaving cream. Every step of this is actually pretty fun. All right, the other things that you will need, so that's enough shaving cream, are uh, maybe some towels to wipe your hands up. <laughs> uh, you can use um, something for a scraper. I can use like a piece of cardboard here. Um, I can use a scraper that's like a, a palette scraper for paint. Or if you have an old gift card, you can use your old gift card to scrape the shaving cream off the paper when you're ready. Okay, so the first step, I'm going to kind of set this up, up a little bit. I think it's good. First thing is you get your paint that's liquid, whether it's a liquid watercolor or it's food coloring, whatever you do. And you also want to have a stir stick or a paint brush or, you know, what I'm going to use is just a straw. Okay. So my straw is going to help swirl it to make it look like it is marbled. All right. I'm going to start with my lightest color first. And I'm just gonna drip carefully some color here and there. Not all of it, just some of it. And then I'm gonna drip some blue. Uh huh. And I'm gonna use some of this pink and red too. I like I like a variety of color. Come on. There we go. Some pink and blue or no red all right so once you get your colors on the shaving cream you take a stir stick or a straw or something you want to use the end of a straw could work and then you swirl it on top of the shaving cream you don't want to stir it too much this is not a cookie dough or something that you want to get like 
um, super mixed, but you could add like a couple more droplets of color if you're like, oh, it's missing color in that area. And then you can swirl with the stick to make the colors swirl a little bit together, but not blend too much, okay? All right, so I feel like it is stirred enough. Now I'm gonna take one of my pieces of paper and I'm going to lay it flat on top of the foam, <laughs> shaving cream foam, and just slightly tap it so we can see the magical effect of the color, like how it prints onto it, okay? It's going to be an, a repeat image. Okay, you ready? Wow. All right. So it's not pressed enough. I can tell there's gaps there. So I'm going to put this down and try again. So I'm going to swirl some more. And I'm going to add a little bit more color. Because I can tell that it needs a little bit more color. So I'm going to go drops of blue, some more yellow, and a little bit more green, and some more pink, and, and a little bit of red. Okay, so I've got all my colors in there. Now I'm going to swirl some more. And it was bumpy, so I think that's why it didn't get all over the paper. Okay. So, I'm gonna flatten this out a little bit so it's not so bumpy on the top of it. And try again. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna press it a little bit firmly Sometimes you just have to experiment, and that's okay. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, this is better. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Okay, so then we're going to take our foam and we're going to scrape it. Look at that. Now you can use this scraper. I can also use my gift card scraper which also works. See, check that out. You want to scrape off the, the shaving cream. You don't want to leave it on there too long because it's just going to get your paper wet. And this needs to dry completely before you can use your awesome paper to turn it into a card or a background of a drawing. It would be, it would be awesome to do all sorts of things like that. All right, let's try one more because I want to see what some others are going to look like. All right, so I've got my paper ready. I'm going to bring my tray back over here. I'm going to swirl again. I'm going to swirl the other way, left and right. Yeah, get it mixed up. A little bit more. All right, let's check it out. Let's try this. All right. So I'm pressing it a little bit firmer so it will go a little deeper into that shaving cream to get more of the pigment absorbed into the paper. Okay, let's try it again. Oh, there's more color on this one. Cool. Now if I wanted to, I could put it back in there and just to see what it does, but I'm going to take it out. I'm going to scrape it with my gift card. Oop. You got to hold on to it. See this? Wow. It's a little slippery. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, that turned out really nice. See, it's a surprise when you scrape it off to see what it looks like. That's cool. Awesome. So here we are. We've got two different kinds of papers that need to dry. If it's sunny outside or warm outside, not raining, you can just put it in the sunshine, let it dry, and it'll dry really quick. 
And now I'm going to use this paper to make a Mother's Day card because I think that'll be fun. Something fun to do at home while we are staying safe, staying home for quarantine. And I hope you enjoy this video and make some marbled paper. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Have a great day. Be kind. Let's shine. And I hope to see you again. Thank you. Bye-bye.